Hi, joining me for this edition of Eye on the Arts is Nick Orbovich, the music director of the Michigan City Chamber Music Festival. And Nick, it's nice to have you back this year. Well, thank you so much for having me back. The festival is a summer event. Yes, every one summer. The, yeah, one of the many activities going on at this time of the year. That's great. That's so right. this is beginning of August. Right. Uh, this year it's August 9th through the 17th. Okay, and for mm -hmm. several days. Right. And you have how many p people performing? Oh my gosh, it's about 10 different musicians mm -hmm. uh, of very high caliber professors from major conservatories around the country. Mm -hmm. And we've been colleagues for many years and we get together every year to play this great music. Yeah, and you, and you do so for free. That's right, all the concerts <laughs> are free of charge, no ticket reservations required, all the events are free. And I can't remember, do you perform all in one place or in various locations? Mostly at the First Presbyterian Church in Michigan City, mm -hmm. uh, but we also do one children's concert at the public library, um, and we have another couple events at different places, uh, mm -hmm. all on our website, mm -hmm. uh, mccmf.org. Okay, so. and, and you yourself, are, you're a string player. Yeah, I'm a violinist and I perform too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're part, you get in on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I get in there, yep. <laughs> so what's the repertoire? This year, um, our theme is thinking big. And we're kind of highlighting, you know, chamber music is small ensembles yeah. playing yeah. The, ma the music of the masters, Brahms, mm -hmm. Beethoven, etc. This year, we're looking at how they've stretched that chamber label to the limits. A minimum of a quintet or bigger every night we're featuring. A string quintet by Brahms, um, piano quintet also, one of the most beloved pieces of chamber music, the Mendelssohn Octet for Strings, is on our Friday night concert. So octet is about as big as you can get for a chamber piece before it becomes an orchestra. You mm -hmm. know, So a conductorless, very beautiful, dramatic work. I mean, it's really a sight to behold um, live. And to hear. Absolutely. <laughs> yep, yep, absolutely. And, and you, so you have special uh, programming for children this year we as well. We do. We have three concerts for children. Um, one called uh, A Musical Trip to the Zoo, mm -hmm. where music about animals and even where composers will have instruments imitate the sounds of animals. Mm -hmm. As old music as Vivaldi will, mm -hmm. will have us do that. Another uh, program, A Musical Time Machine, where very educational program and very fun, where we just kind of describe how music e has evolved through the different eras. Um, and then a, a very traditional concert for us where uh, the Michigan City Ecumenical Children's Choir performs and also some other um, student uh, instrumentalists. That's always a very popular concert. Well, thank you for being here to tell us about it. Good oh, luck gosh. with the festival. Thank you so much, John. And thank you for watching. We'll be back again next week with another edition of Eye on the Arts. Eye on the Arts is made possible in part by South Shore Arts, the Indiana Arts Commission, and the National Endowment for the Arts, a federal agency.